will now be recorded. To order. <laughs> get used to the voice over there. Um, here we are. Is there, uh, Allie, is there anybody else on besides us? I don't see anyone now. Okay. Um, let's, uh, Oh, look at all these. How about we start with the easy, the bi-weekly town payroll? Uh, Susan, do you have an envelope with Roger on that? Yep. Yeah. He's not here. Oh. Yeah, you can open it. And there's some copies of the memo on the bi-weekly inside there. Ah, okay. Along with a copy of the email. The only thing that's present is the union contract. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Oop, there we go. Who? Oh. <laughs> okay, we got the memos. Okay. So I think it's it's almost easier for people to read that for a minute or two just to now we can talk about it. That's okay. Okay. Okay, I've got somebody coming in the ring. Did you read that last? <laughs> I read it at home. <laughs> I think it's, they finally, finally on the verge of getting to a system that you've always wanted to see. Yeah, at, um, uh, people, people are still reading. Okay, I'm on. Okay, um, I, I know, um, Amy at the library, uh, I think going ahead and doing it now, she'll probably look for the additional four weeks. Um, she just needs a little more time to sort out. She she frequently has another part time job, but she didn't this year because of COVID. So their their family cash flow is is a is a little tight. So um, she may look for the extra time. I thought I thought initially when we were looking at this, we weren't talking about doing it until the next fiscal year. So I misinformed her that it would be that long, but I expect she'll want that longer time to adjust. Um, other than that, I don't know. I mean, I think it makes a lot of sense. I'd say, Dave, it looks to me like it's sort of getting to that, you know, the, the easy to find and easy to see the hours that people are working and stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, along with this, or Allison, with this, take. Uh, well, have to count one of those hourly. Will it go? I want to say like overtime after forty. Now will it go? Will it go overtime after eighty? Didn't change anything. No. You're no. Saying? We'll keep it over forty because that's what's in the current draft of the contract, and that's uh, that is an option for some emergency services, like sometimes we'll get an 80 hour work week uh, for police services sometimes, or fire departments, yeah. but the current contract with highways, and what, it, what it's always been, what the current draft is looking like is the over 40. So I don't, that, that would be a whole new discussion about changing. It'll stay the same. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just because yeah, we're- it is, it is the same reported you know, weekly still, but then combined for one payment. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 
I think it'll be a hardship for employees if it is going to be a hardship. It's just a tool explaining that. Yeah, if you, if you if you set yourself up for a month for a weekly paycheck yeah. and that's how you're paying your bills, you need a little time to adjust how you're paying things. Right, especially especially if you're having people take in the office of direct deposit, direct pay, you know, when people are drawing out of your checkbook right. to pay the bills. Right. Yeah, all well, right. I, 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 I hate you to go to it when they went to it, but it, it just, you just yourself. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, I, 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 I think you can. Know. Or, or yeah, maybe a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of the uh, companies that are on the auto pay can, can make a, you know, adjustments by extending it a week or whatever. So, that, I mean, for the people that do have transition problems in the sense that they can't get something to work, well, then I think the employees can always come back to us to figure out how to make it work for them. But I think the four week transition should work okay. Yeah, yeah. Hell plus, hell. plus, they have a six weeks notice starting, you know, in November. Right. Right. If we start, well, I'd say, and if we just let them, I'll let Amy know right away. Now, how about employees that we deduct, like child support and stuff? Is that paid once a month or is that paid in a week? Yeah, that's, that's, that's big that's, monthly. We don't remember anyone that pays child support. Pardon me? Pardon me? We don't have any child support this time. Okay. But I think usually with child support, they usually just take it out of each paycheck, right? That's correct, yeah. but we don't have yeah. any employees at this time that pay child support. Yeah. Oh, okay, thank you. Okay. So I assume so you you looking for a motion to move us in this direction? Yeah, yeah, I think there's there's two options that I thought of. One is the um, slower approach. The the uh, the quicker approach is for you to approve it tonight, and then we'll and Allison will work with employees to make it happen. The other approach is to give your uh, consensual approval with a final decision on the 16th. Well, again, I'd I'd, say I'd rather go the slower way just for Amy because she told me that it, you know, she she yes. needed some time, so and it's not, you know. Um, now, Allison, we know all the good parts of it. Is there any bad parts to it? I'm sorry? I said, we know all the good points by going by weekly, but is there any negative that you know of that causes you more work or anything? Very little cause any more work, no. Yeah. No, I don't need it. Okay, well let's let's go for the final vote. I'll call. Oh, remember, I'll remember to tell Amy tomorrow that we're going to vote and that it's um and then let her Aunt Allison let you and Amy work together to sort out what she needs. Okay. I will touch base with you. Okay. <laughs> um. That that would be good. I could put it on the agenda for the 16th as an action item, and then I, we can send this memo out to everybody tomorrow. Yeah. So as long and and reach out to me. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's um. Let's see. If we know Mark Lahoulier is leaving us. Um. He's I. I asked Mark French. <laughs> To sort out and what he needed with Mark Lahoulier and getting projects done and what would work, and that if if he felt there are any issues, you know, to to, uh, to let us know. And uh, he's not; they're working fine. So Mark Lahoulier's last day is going to be okay, okay, next Wednesday, because they're all this Wednesday is a holiday. Right. He's using a couple of his days, yeah. so but uh, he's coming in and helping. I know they started they started doing the project over at Norms today, 
Um, so try, yeah, so try, <laughs> try, try, try and get a couple of those big projects done and just really, and uh, and they're all they're all working fine. Nobody's and again, I thought I just needed to leave it to Mark French to read the temperature and say here's what he needed and to get the help that he needed out of Mark while he's still here. I think in that. In the is is Don is Don Jerry on board or or Jimmy on board? Well, when he's finishing up yeah. a couple of projects that yeah. he's finishing yeah. up, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So he had every every everybody that's out there that has equipment right now. It's I'm sure really going the same thing. Everybody's taking real advantage of this weather and trying to get a bunch of stuff done. I said they're having a big meeting down at uh, the bottom of Pitch Hill today. I wonder if they were figuring out what to do then. Yeah, you know, it's, uh, you see all the all the powers see here. They Bellowing for blackout. Right. <laughs> That's a good thing. Decided not to blackout last one. Huh? The they just, I think they're just going to do the apron wrong, right? I mean, we talked about that today. Yeah, yeah. Mark, Mark called, and they uh, were scoping out a thirty-foot extension off the edge of Route Fifteen pavement at the bottom of the chill to protect against mud, and it. Looked like Nick Minash had agreed to add it to his Eden Street work. Okay. So I think it's two inches of asphalt to go in, and and I told Mark to monitor that so that we make sure that that happens, and if it's going to change, that we need to talk about it. But it doesn't sound like the town would have to do anything. That Nick Nick's going to take care of that. Okay. I thought that's what it looked like today. <laughs> I just made it quick. Swing around there. They got the outside lined out to look like they're going to put a ramp in. Okay, good. Yeah, that would be good. Uh, uh, <laughs> the weather's being kind to us this November, kind of like last year. Susan, did you? I, I don't think you took a motion to accept the Hooli resignation. We need a motion to accept Mark's, uh, Mark Hooli's resignation. And, uh, well, I guess that's all we have to do because they, they sorted out what, when he's stopping, right? Does that need to be in the motion too? John, John? Yeah, it should, it should be because he, he's proposing the November 18th date, which is a 14 day or two week notice. His letter of hire required him to give a 30 day notice. So this is sort of a negotiation a little bit because the board, the way the letter of hire was written is that the board should agree to any change from 30. So okay. as long as the motion includes the date, then you're accepting his, you know, two okay. weeks. So I need a motion to accept Mark Bahuyer's resignation effective November 18th. So moved. Second. Yo, hey guys, can I have a second? <laughs> okay, I'll second it. <laughs> um, any, any discussion? Okay, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? <laughs> Anybody abstaining? Aye. You're shaking your head. Yes. Yes. Too abstaining. What is the abstention because they need more information? I don't know, Jeff. Do you have to have a reason to abstain? I don't think well, so. Well, if you're part of the if you're part of the discussion and have all the information, you're supposed to get to a decision. If you if you want to abstain, then you can ask for more information, or you could move to executive session to talk about it, or something like that. I don't know what happens if the board doesn't take any action, which is what the result of a, of a of that vote would be. It would be no action, but Mark's going to keep working. Well, we should probably go into executive session to talk about it. I don't think we need, if we go into executive session, I'm going to tell you right now, anything that we're talking about, I'm going to come out and talk about public, just so you know that. This okay, is, I don't, this is executive session. I, I can't, uh, <clears throat> I'm, I'm, 
Kyrie with this. It is what it is. I mean. Well, you got another. You got another option. It is table X L six cross and U.S. Highbreaker. Yeah, yeah. The, the the vote that you took is effectively tabling it. That's right. Right. Okay, let's go into executive session. But <laughs> I'm just this is a, this is silly. Okay, move to go into executive session. This way, then I know we're connected all over the place. There we go. Okay, so I need a motion to accept um, Mark LaHoulier's resignation effective the 18th of November. Second. Okay. okay, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Okay. Now we're really getting into an interesting topic. Um, I am going and Roger, you as well, the water rates. The new proposed water rates <clears throat> on the village. Um, I oh, I don't I don't even know where to start. How many How many years did they take that loan out for? <clears throat> no, no. <laughs> I'm gonna say yeah. no. I'm just curious. I, I'm trying to. I was. Um, Ron, do you know? Uh, so you're you're talking a little muffled there. Most question. Uh, how long did the village take the loan out for? 30? I'll say that 30. Uh, I believe it's a 30 year loan because they took, uh, yeah. uh, it's 100,000 okay. a year with 3 million. So that's about right. Yeah, okay. Um, I, <laughs> I, I mean, I don't, I don't even know where to. I don't even know where to start. I am so stunned at the entire thing that, um, and and I can't. I guess I've uh, when I first got, and I don't, I don't know if it, if it the the side judges with their letter sort of, I think did a scatter shot and got half the county, and I just kind of did a quick and I didn't really read it, and I went, oh yeah, and then they called me. And I said, what? He said, go back and read the letter. I can't, um, <clears throat> man, I, I don't. How much was the Cornell's? $1,724 of water, $800 and some odd dollars of soap. And, and, and again, that's, those are just your service charges. Those aren't. That's not no use. Yeah, that's not any use. No, we take, just take, because the. I think I'm seeing this right. It's what they did. They didn't up the residentials that much because they were going to put it on to the town. The town just do this about the rest of So what's what's the reg residential? Well, they they sold it to the oh here we go. Let me just because you got your chart. The residential. I don't know if they're working. I'm only probably tell us. But right now the water is twenty dollars and twenty five cents per month. That's cheap. Isn't that, that that's just your service charge. Yeah, I know. Right. Uh, the sewer is thirty-six dollars and seventy-five cents a month. Now I just checked with uh, my stepson on the water usage per person per household in a family of four. He said, a gallon. He said it's eighty to a hundred gallons per day. Okay. So so figure that out. That, that, that would be uh, uh, hey, Ron. Hey, Ron. the uh, so, so 80 gallons a day. Just figure it out, say 100, so it's 400 meters times, yeah. times 4, 12,000 gallons, right? And, yeah. all and the charge is $7.49 per 1,000 gallons. 
So, so there's another ninety-six dollars on top of on top of the twenty-six and on top of the thirty something. That's one hundred and fifty dollars a month. That, if, if that's true, what it says here, stand by water uh, over a thousand gallons. And what's the current? Yeah, but listen to this. The way I'm reading it, the way I'm reading it, it's $749 per thousand water coming in and $7 a gallon for water going out. But I'm doing it that way, so. And then, and then you take somebody that needs a little water in your swimming pool. They don't know that's not going down into the waste field. Right. <laughs> but it says right there, seven dollars and forty-nine cents by an additional thousand. But well, just just for you, I told the guys here. I figured it out. If I just find a reason, right? A one and two family house dwelling. The total is six hundred. That just charge is not saying the water use is six hundred eighty-four dollars per month, a per gallon, per year. I'm not going to say it per month. A, a, a three bedroom. A three person per no three unit house like over here next to the okay, house. House, okay, or yes. say uh, say her shack put in three businesses in, in the PH Edward building. That's gonna be nineteen hundred and seventy six dollars a year. <clears throat> Municipal, which is the courthouse and the uh, sheriff's office and the time twenty seven hundred and fifteen dollars. Twenty-seven thousand five hundred dollars a year, and that with, that with no water usage. Uh, I talked to John and Judy over there, and they would be nineteen hundred and seventy-seven, so two thousand dollars a year for a small business. Do they have you figured out what the schools going to pay? No, no. Oh, yeah, no. Well, 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 and what's interesting is that I didn't realize that it, it's the high school as well. Unions on the yes. water. Yeah, they're they're being hit too. Like it's fifteen hundred dollars a month service charge for our fire department would be cheaper punch well. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, no doubt about that. <laughs> but but I can't. Let me see. We need to. We need as a select board, and again, this is the you, you get into our our fiduciary responsibility to our citizens. Um, on uh, I talked with the uh, the letter that came out from the side judges with all this information, and um, and and Dave and I had talked, and he was talking to some folks, and then uh, I've. I talked with uh, I talked with Joel Page, the side judges, and they are Wednesday is the uh, regular trustees meeting, and the um, the uh, the, side, the side judges are going in to discuss this matter with them. And again, I think that's anybody who's seen the copies of the letter that they that they sent, and they really don't expect anything, and they have. Um, the side judges have already hired a lawyer. Um, I I don't doubt. I think we're all going to and talk to the side judges. And it doesn't make any sense for the side judges and the schools and then the town to hire the lawyers. And I have to say it's Wednesday and, and it's a uh, you know it's a video thing. I've got that. Or Ron, you you have the information you can send to everybody. Oh, Allison, you may be gone. He's got to go to the planning commission meeting. I can I can. I can send you the stuff. It's got the call in numbers. It's a, let's see, I guess six o'clock is the planning meeting and seven o'clock is the regular trustees meeting. And, um, send it around every, you know. Yeah, okay. And, um, and I know Johnson's going to be on it. Cambridge is going to be on it. We'll be on it. Before I, I came over here, I was talking with Brian on the phone and our landline was ringing and it was, uh, one of the select board members from Morrisville. Um, you know, calling me 
Um, we got a copy of the, uh, the the town manager and still was trying to have Carol make some sense of it. Um, what? Because of course, if you see, if you basically what they've done is they've done a multi-million-dollar bond. Um, they sold it to the village because I've talked with folks that live in the village and and. They aren't aware of this shift and they're off on to anybody else. And all the meetings that they went to and everything, it's been sold to the village that your, you know, your expense will go up two hundred fifty, three hundred dollars a year for the, for a regular village hall, you know, someplace in that ballpark. Which, if somebody told me we could have a new infrastructure water system for that, I would go. That's fine. Um, I talked with a couple of people that went to a couple of those meetings and tried to, tried to raise some questions about how it was going to be paid for, and they just they got they got shut down real fast. They couldn't get answers that made any sense to them. Um, I'm a uh, so so in terms of for our high park <laughs> um, and. And, and I consider the people that live in the village are they are they are our constituents as well. So they'll not only have this kind of a big hit that you're looking at, but you're also you're going to get it through the county courthouse and the sheriff's department, which is what you figure was going up to about eighteen thousand dollars a year. <laughs> well, in the variety of the ways it's going to show up in the yeah. taxes. Get the water something. Yeah, so so it's going to go up significantly through them, which is also that's all the other towns in the county because that's how the courthouse, that's how those services yeah. are paid for. Plus, forty percent of that entire bill comes from the state, so it's, so it isn't just the town; it's the entire state that is being asked to pay for this. Um, plus, we're going to get hit with schools. Yeah. Okay, and the fire department um, is going to be doing more bottle drives than they ever thought of. <laughs> or we're all going to be out there digging a well. They didn't, uh, they didn't have a public meeting on the on this thing when the plans were out and stuff to see what it was. Well, were. they, you know, they had lots of informational meetings and they hired, um, you know, professional to come in and do all the work and everything. And I remember talking about here's what it is and here's what it's going to cost. Um, no one in the village had any idea that the plan was to do a multi million dollar project, have the village pay <clears throat> maybe you could get looking at a residence 10% of it, maybe if that's what's coming in, and cost shift the other. 80 to 90 percent of a gigantic bond that we had no voice in, no vote, and were never talked to about, spread all over not, not just Hyde Park, but all over the entire county. And this is the most sane and polite way I have been able to discuss this since it came up. I can't, I am, I am so. I am so outraged. Johnson, when they got the, when they first got it, their response was it was some kind of a scam and somebody was trying to get money out of them. Yeah. <laughs> Good point, really. <laughs> um, one of them is a thousand percent increase, right? For five thousand for the county tax. That anyway, yeah. Yep, yeah. and then one was five thousand. Well, yeah, yeah. Or, I mean, it's, or it for ten thousand. Yeah. It's so absurd. We were just talking about that outside. It's, this, this is it's absurd. Right. So, so I will, and, and I'll send the information to as many people as possible. As I know, I know Johnson and Cambridge. I'm sure Stone will be on the call. Did, did, I, did they go to the USDA or they went through a private? Yeah, no, they, they, no, because they got a lot of federal money because that was part of the scramble when they had to get it done. And so they did get some grant the money. Later. Oh, no. Oh. They, they got to, well, but they got it at a real low interest rate. Oh, well, yeah. Right, right. I really, I don't know what the mix of money is. When we did ours, we had 40 years to pay for it. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you weren't that much money. It's we only had like a couple hundred thousand or yeah. 300,000. And... <laughs> yeah, I think it's going to take them a lot longer than 40 years to pay this. Um, but I, 
I, I expect, um, I, 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 don't, I guess I don't know what to expect, but I certainly anticipate that we will join with the other parties in paying for a lawyer to deal with this because I don't see yeah. um, the village is always so responsive to our concerns anyway. I, uh, I just can't fathom anybody paying $2,300 a month for services. For, for tax, for tax. No. Now, what's that? Well, there's, there's the Ricky's cost. Get, Ricky's going to get all the new uh, improvements up there because nobody's going to build them high fire for that price. I don't. Um, be a lot for sale. And nobody's going to buy either. Um, I, Everybody's got to build their own well. I I don't. Uh, I did, I did, did they make it mandatory that they had to get on? I I can't I can't answer any of those questions. Yeah, see, that's another thing. Um, when they went around, didn't Lamoille have their own well at one time? I thought they yeah. did. Well, Lamoille well, used I to have their own well yeah. back when I was in high yeah, school. Yeah. Did. Yeah. 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 I, I don't know, but but I just. Um, I guess that since we we're having this meeting for several reasons, I wanted I thought we should take advantage of it as a select board um, to get it out in the public. I <laughs> yeah, I've had several interesting conversations with people. Um, uh, we'll we'll attend the Wednesday meeting and we'll take it from there. But I I can't. Uh, I don't, I don't. I don't know. Anybody got any ideas or where to go from here? Or? I don't think they're going anywhere. So we have that county meeting, right? <clears throat> yeah, just give them the first and see what they're going to say. Because it, I mean, pragmatically, the situation the village is in is they they got no place to. Yeah, I they can't. I don't know. Give them a two hundred year bond. Maybe they can pay it off. I don't. I guess <coughs> they um. Uh, well. The little paper up, I can't remember if it was it was a light bill, is saying that they have the right to raise the rate to pay the bills. So, you know, if that bill has to be paid, somebody's got to pay it. I don't know, either to put a little more onto the homeowners and you leave yeah. the business people off a little better, vice versa. I mean, it's one way or the other, it's pretty high. But I always understand they weren't doing the whole project in one year. But it's apparently they're doing the whole thing. In. No, no, they, they haven't done the side streets. No. They really? Like Pitch no. Hill. Oh, no. well, that's right. No. Oh, Pitch Hill ain't get, getting done this year? Well, they'll they'll finish that up next year. But I mean, they aren't even the side streets. Oh, that's right. Even the they're going to do. Uh, even another street. lawn, do you think? <laughs> I kind of don't think so anymore. <laughs> I mean, was that the plan? To well, that was yeah, the yeah, I think so. Said. Yes, yeah, it was, because that's what the folks have They haven't gone down anymore. past the, the only street, yeah, because they haven't done the street from the, uh, from the roundabout. Yeah, they haven't even done the, I know what you mean, the yeah, side right, street. They haven't done prospect, they, yeah. haven't, they haven't gone down, they haven't done the loop around. Yeah, the yeah, the yeah through there. they went all the way down going to church. Yeah, yeah. I think they did that. Um, <clears throat> well, plus they still got to be down Johnson extension. Again, but see, the thing is with the they may have the authority to raise their rates on the people that use the system, but I don't. They they don't have the authority to go out and raise the rates on the rest of the county. Unless they have come up with some really new thing that then, as Dave said, we ought to join the village because they figured out a pretty good system here. Are they <laughs> are they also upgrading the sewer wastewater? Uh, the, yes. I, yeah, yeah, that, that letter that letter yes. that includes the wastewater also. Well, that's yes. a separate charge, right? But there was. A and what what did you Dave just figured out See, what the, we think is happening the, with the average homeowner, the, not the, the business. Okay, the water, the water. There it is. Take the sheriff's camera. 
the charge for the water is fourteen hundred. Yeah, one thousand four hundred and seventeen dollars and fifty cents. Without any usage. Mm -hmm. well, right. Right. At a monthly charge? Monthly. Yeah, basic fee. Plus uh, eight hundred and eighty-two dollar wastewater charge. It's very well, twenty-six hundred dollars. Right. The service charge. The service charge. Plus a seven dollar and forty-nine cents per per thousand gallons. Per thousand gallons? Per thousand gallons of water. And it, uh, I just talked to Ed tonight, asked him a question. He said the average house takes 80 to 100 gallons per person per household. So, per day. so a family of four would use 12,000 gallons a month. Because my figures are correct. Yeah, so they've only gone full 12,000 a month. Yeah, 12,000 a month a day. <clears throat> so that's so what? 12 times 7. Got about $96 worth of water well, charges. The surcharges are what is is gone outrageous when it's not the monthly fee, it's the surcharges. That's right. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, the, the surcharges yeah. are what they're using to pay the bond. Yeah. Right. So um and that's where the county's gonna get hit is because of the county tax to run the it's, sheriff's department. Exactly. Fire department. Fire school. Right, and then the school. Yeah. Okay, so. Well, I had the fifteen hundred dollar building, Jed. I got the fourteen hundred. That fourteen seventeen. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So, well, I guess I should ask the rest of the board. Do you agree that this is something that we shouldn't just go along with? And I don't know what the bill is going to be yet for now. Uh, yeah, we'll, yeah. 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 Well, we'll see what they say Wednesday. Right. Yeah. Uh, I think it's going to be a hard thing to argue. Well, see, we've got the library. We've got the town garage. Yeah. This place. Uh, we've got another place. We've got four. That well, town, well, is the, is the uh, Alfred House that town owned? That town owned, but we lease it out. So is the town responsible for the bills? Yep. Wrong. You have to pay. You have to. You, you have to charge you, the people that are using it. So the rent goes up. Goes up. So. No. Well, and again, and they look at is our responsibility to the taxpayers and even though we aren't the school board it still has going to be a tremendous impact on, on those taxes so oh looking at the taxes as a whole you know it's just uh I'm, the water unit has a heck of a resource of water behind the building that you've been out behind it uh, if i was them i would be looking into that resource rather than what the what they're faced with for uh well then the elementary school too is going to be going to be a big enough hit. So anyway, we'll um, I, I'll I'll get the phone in information to everybody for Wednesday at seven, and um, um and well, actually, they'll bill all the state for that, and the state's going to bill us because everything goes through the state now, don't it? But it's a school tax. It more or less they collect the. Right. But it ultimately comes down to right, right, right exactly. Right. You're gonna pay the bill one one way or other. Plus I, it, 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 tax. I mean the school tax is gonna go on Right. <clears throat> right. It's just it's just everybody's school cost, tax. Well, like the cost it's of not all fair. County. It's not fair for everybody else to have to pay it. Yeah. Well and and again it's here's a gigantic bond that none of um <clears throat> That nobody outside of that, and I remember at the time Roger was really frustrated when they're talking, um, you know, doing a major water project, and you know you're, you know, you're one of the big, you, you're a user in the village that you have no say, you have no vote, you have no, no control over it. It's just, and we did yeah, it now. yeah. Same thing with the with the solar field. The solar field, we right. did not know. Right, you don't have any say. It just appears. So, so I, it just I, I think what we do, we, we will pipe in Wednesday night and listen to all the stuff about, and then if we need to get together with the other town. Right, oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I, I don't think everybody's in much 
<laughs> Again, it's <clears throat> the village is in, I don't, I don't, you can't cross shift onto the, I mean, how many homes are there in the village? Two hundred, not that many. Two hundred, not that many. It was a couple hundred? Yeah. Yeah. Two hundred and twenty some odd uses. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so they aren't not that many. They, they, uh, no, don't call down the price. There's two or something. I don't, uh, anyway. That would have had been chosen as you went for that whole three year way back. Before you well, started. Well, 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 somebody knew, and, and for me, part of what, I mean, you know, when, Way back like a year and a half ago, when we were talking to do the to do the center row, could we figure out could we do it if we spread it over a couple of years using our money, or would we need to do a bond? And as soon as we even started talking about it, so well, here's what it'd be, and here's what it would be. How somebody had to know that um, we're going to have to pay about a hundred and ten thousand dollars a year in a payment, and the money's going to come from. That's where they came up with their figure of uh, the percentages would have to be uh, put on to the burden of the uh, taxpayers. And, uh, and but sort of never bothered to share that information with the rest of us. And the right. um, customer base of 233. 233 right. people. For a $3 million over 30 years. Yeah. Exactly. Hey, I'm like, you, know, you don't have to be really into budgets to have figured out as a trustee that something's going on. See, as far as, as the courthouse, they can, they can go in there and divide all the identity in there. You got the division court program, you got the, the regular court, the traffic court. They count that all as one. Like the one apartment, whatever you want to call yeah, it. Right. So I don't know how many different how many different uh, identity they have in that car, but that's quite a few. Well and, and, and yeah, that's why they say with, with the bill and the state's attorney's office. Forty percent of that bill is paid for by the state. So whatever they get, forty yeah. percent comes comes from the state. That's how they the building inside the uh inside the food place there. That's that's all the state building is. Yeah, right. ten guard building. Yeah, ten guard building, right? Right. So I can so see where they came up with all their money for the courthouse and stuff. It. Wow. And they sold it to the people by lowering the percentage. And 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 again, a couple of people that were pushing and asking deeper questions just kind of really got shut. Felt they were really shut down in those meetings. And. and Whatever. Okay. Phew. Let's talk about something easy. Fire departments. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to wait and see what happens today. There's a great vein of water in the way you help it. Okay. Okay. Fire. Now we'll go to. We're doing the, um, we're a little bit after six, but that's okay. Thank you for being here, everybody. Um, and I guess maybe what, you all come a little bit closer if you want. I think we're being able to pick up on that mic okay. If people would introduce themselves so we know, so the silent getting recorded will know who's here. Ricky Warren with the town meeting. Ed Webster, Town Fire Chief. Linda Powers from the Town of Eden. Barbara Duvier from the Town of Eden. Butch Whittemore from Town of Eden. Okay. Nobody's here from White Park, 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 Eden, White Park. Well, they may be. Rachel? No, they're on the. Oh. Oh, well, how have I got. Hmm, this is interesting. Who's it? Six? Or eight? Eight? Yeah. So, Ron, can you tell me who's here from North Hyde Park? He's on the other meeting, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's on Alley. Alley should be with that. Whoop. There's no one else on the meeting. I'm being told. Okay, oh. She, Alley needs us to repeat who's here because it's hard to hear. You know what I'm going to do? Turn this around. Okay. I keep this thing. Flatboard. 
Ricky Morton, Town of Eden, Select Board. Ed Webster, Town Fire Chief. Frida Powers from the Town of Eden. Barbara Duyay, Town of Eden, Select Board. Which would more Select Board in Eden? Uh, <laughs> 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 I'm both for game show hosts, right? I'm both here there because I figured the four officers were going to be here to present the budget. They're on the. They're on I, I think. Alan, do we have do we have North Pine Park folks on the phone? There's no one else on the phone. No, did they think it was at seven o'clock or what? Well, uh, that makes me even. I don't feel so bad about going up to North Pine Park. Where they come from? You guys got a Monday night. Can I call Brent and see what's going on? <laughs> Okay, let's know, see. It I is know. Monday, right? We are John Monday. John has got, uh, was exposed, and he's waiting test results. Ooh, okay. So, no, on hands. Yeah, that's right. Well, is I thought, that any? John is. John, John Savage. That's what dude told me today. Exposed. exposed. And I thought dude was going to be here tonight, so. Well, they want me to call Brent or what? No, you can call Brent, but don't call John. I don't like that. I know Brett knows about it because I just saw him the other day and we were talking about it. But he's got so much going on, he might have slipped up. Yes. I talked to him this yeah. afternoon. So. Yeah, of course, fire <laughs> Yeah, I talked to him this afternoon at that and I, I thought he was coming. So. Did they send any budget figures? No, we haven't seen any either. It's just, you know, there's just, there's just something about 2020 that is just, you know, when we get out of this year, 2021 has just got to be better. <laughs> Sales are up now already. Everybody's yeah. getting prepared. <laughs> I, do, I do know I'm going in the supermarkets now and seeing, you know, here are the wipes and everything. Right, right. buy everything well, again. It's like I'm buying it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not getting caught again. Hey, Harry? Where are you? Okay, we're all down here waiting. Did you think it was at 7? Your email said at 7, but I think it's at 6. I don't know where the mess up is, but we're waiting for you. As long as you're on the way. Yeah, take your, there you go slow. <laughs> that's, that's okay. So, he's like, I'm done quarantine? His, yeah. email right. said, his email said at 7. Is it right uh, slow? He said, "Hell, I'm going to drive." What I was told, he had a test today. What's that? For what I was told, he had a test today. Oh. Uh, I don't know about the result. And apparently, Marvin, 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 what, when we so he said, it's going to take him two, three days to get it back. I turned around and looked at the new system. The cop said, there's a new machine they got. Same day. Same, same day. There's going to be any options. But he had to wait yeah. three days. I mean, he missed three days' work. So I thought, yeah. that's due. Yeah. I mean, what's going on? Why do you put in the paper? I mean, all, you could have you to get the day. Morning. See it for quite a while. I think there's something to get in Russia. Some don't wait for me at the facility when that at 4 o'clock in the morning of the day. And uh, yeah, yeah, we'll back tomorrow. Yeah, we'll we'll do do How much did the burn take? Nothing. I don't know what. I didn't know they had fire. A few leaves along along a stone wall. <coughs> More smoke than anything else. Three cases. Well, it's it's much burn right now. Yeah. 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 No. I couldn't believe it. 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 I cou
the last high week, school. we couldn't do no ditching or anything. The ditches are all full of snow. <laughs> Monday, Tuesday up there, it was like, yep, winter. <laughs> Okay. okay. Is there anything else you want to talk about? Want to come down and help pay for the water system? <laughs> I think we're going to pay it all the county tax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to you know, get to do the school. They, I was looking at it, and the percentage of increase was like thousand percent or five thousand percent on a different one. And That's right. You'll get to the school. Yeah, well, the yeah. yeah, yeah. Wow. So does it look like the townspeople that are in the village are going to pay less than everybody else if the third tax is going to get everybody? No, no, because they'll get hit with that too. Because I know that when the water bill did that, you asked that question because I was going to drill a well, and with which I did not know that the board made the decision that you could not pull out. They're going to they're going to sue me. They're going to bill me anyway, whether or not I pulled out. And put had two properties and I was going to drill a well for them and they told me that I couldn't pull out of there it was in the, when I got the letter it said that they had based it on the 32 people that were already on the water system so you couldn't pull out I couldn't I don't know if I, I didn't sue them I just didn't, but I was gonna to have to get a lawyer because they said that the board had already made that decision and put it to the state when they got <coughs> the funding for it I might be on the guilty side, but nobody in the village helped pay for my well. I don't know why I should pay for their water. I'm simple. <coughs> right? Well, I, you know, it, it's a, and they say, I think, it, I think if you probably followed the Mississippi River and went east anyway, you would find, well, you know, Flint, that's the, that's the biggest known. You know, everybody has terrible old infrastructure, their water and their sewer systems. And way back when lots of systems were last upgraded, it may have been like in the 50s, um, the federal government would, was putting in lots of, lots of money for that sort of stuff, and they haven't done it for years and years. So everybody's <coughs> sitting on these systems that, again, I mean, how often were the pipes collapsing in high park and the roads were dug up in the middle of winter? And, you know, it's a, it's a common problem, but it's, um, I, I, don't know. I, I don't know how you, you know how how you solve it. It's uh, better planning. Mm -hmm. That's how you solve it. Well, I think you, I think you, you, you establish a budget and you set it up. For it. Yeah. I think you could have set that bond. You, you, you anticipate the longevity. And I'm talking to Ron today, and, and we're we're in the same boat right here on different things. If we don't put enough money aside each year to replace our fire apparatus. Yeah. And the Where trucks and everything. Boat. Yeah, well, that's that's right, and, and we're we're behind on all that stuff because it's um, just regular costs keep going up. You know, and, and the boards of the past they didn't put enough money into their coffers to cover the expenditures in the future. But the state mandates are what's going to hurt these small towns. Mm -hmm. Because uh, I don't know if you did your inventory on your hydraulically connected segments. Oh, yeah, we got, yeah. Yeah, I mean, they, we had a guy come in and he's telling us we got to raise our budget 20% just for that alone. How can you go to the taxpayers and say, well, we're going to raise your, your, uh, your taxes 20% on the highway just for the water hydraulically connected <coughs> segments? Right. I think I think we sort of figured that you know and 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 I think most towns in Vermont are good with their road crews at doing best practices. That if you just sort of keep plugging away at your best practices, eventually you're gonna get there. Yeah. And I think the odds of the state coming out and getting anybody because you're behind in it is non existent. But you'll never be at a hundred percent. You got back roads. You'll never be at hundred percent. You can clean a ditch this year, oh, yeah, and in right. eight to ten years, you got to come back and do that again. It's not even eight to ten years. No, no. Sure. I mean, like you put up twelve thousand okay, yards of sand. Where's that sand going, Roland? Right. You, you, I mean, same wheels up. We put up six thousand yards. The sand you used up there. I don't want to go over the mountain. Mm -hmm. The sand you used up there. Another 
Four years, your ditches are going to be pulled in nice ditches up through there. We did, we did uh, eight years ago. We did some, and we were in there cleaning them out this year. There you go. What are you going to do? What do you do with the stuff? I just clean the sand out of them, leave the stone in there, yeah. and just let it. I mean, you can't afford to go back in, pull all that stone out, mm -hmm. reclean it, stick it back in. Well, until you have a flood, and then it fills it in about. Three feet, yeah. four feet, and then you're going to end up with some stone and you put it through a screen or something. Yeah. We just go through and clean what stands in there right down to the stone line ditch and leave it. And we did a section this spring down on Toronto Road, and with the hard rain we had this summer, they cleaned it pretty much clean. That's so, what I'm saying. Where, You'll never be at 100%. Where, where does that stuff go? Well, we clean it itself. Yeah. It went down through. <laughs> but the state mandates mandates all this stuff to the county, but they're exempt from it. Yeah, right. How how's that fair? That's that's my complaint. I mean, about it. Yeah, we've been the meetings on that. Yep. <laughs> I see the voice of my opinion there all the time when we go to the You you see the what I done. Yeah. All right. All right. Lay right through the White House. What's that? Lay right through the White House. On the border? Yeah. Tear it part of it down. It looks like you're going to sell it part of it for a whole lot. I probably got some of it. Who bought that? Uh, big conference. The other day. Which is going to be nice. You got a good job. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the mitigation is very different. Do you need a copy? Well, no. Free, right? Thank you. But this one. Thank you. 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 Thank Oh, it went last year. Hey, did you see John Savage today or yesterday? No. <laughs> Why? No, no, I didn't turn the car with Eddie. This is yeah. one that we print out that shows us the closed one. Okay. No, we better go and clean these papers. Thank you. Hey, Ryan. Who that my whole card do? Do you want to use it? Yes, I want to hear you. Good. Good evening. Sorry I'm late. I thought it was at 7. Well, I thought it was last week. <laughs> you were, you, so you were early and I was late. So it worked out just fine. Perfect. <laughs> okay. So you'll see the X's and the arrows on the one that has all the pages. Yep. We shifted some stuff around in there <laughs> to kind of consolidate. I think it is like for the town report. So everything's broke up better. And I don't know if Marvin logged on to the computer. He was thinking, but I think he's thinking seven two. So he may not. Is Ron doing that or no? Um, Allie's doing it. No, he's not there yet. That's okay. I'll answer him the best I can. If I need to get a different answer, I'll get it from him. But he. Susan, there's no one else left on my I don't expect anybody from me. Yep. That's okay. No, I'm good. He's probably fine. Okay. Okay, go ahead. He just may be able to answer some of the budget questions if you have any, but I mean, we can start. Okay, you want to go ahead and start? You want to wait till he gets on? He's not answering, okay. so. Well, it looks like your budget's going up $1,000 over last year. Overall, yep. 
Five hundred to down. Yeah, we picked it apart, changed a few of the numbers if you look at them. So anybody that hasn't seen this yet, you've got the proposed column, which is the far right side. That's what we're proposing for next year compared to the 2021. So you can see where we changed the line items. Hello? Yeah, it's actually at six, not seven. So if you want to log on, you can. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. So you can see the numbers that we changed from last year to this year to try to uh, show you how the budget is going to work. <clears throat> like you'll see for salaries, we went from 13,000 to 15,000. That's the proposed change. So as you look down that right hand column, you can bounce that off the left hand. from last year to the upcoming year, or the, the budget that we're gonna be working in that you've already approved. What did your equipment make uh, maintenance go down? Equipment maintenance. No. No, because we were doing fourteen hundred and we actually nineteen twenty, we only spent the eight sixty eight, so it looked like in our budget we were over budgeted. Okay. We had some of the major repairs on the trucks, like the brakes and that stuff came through, but that's going in I think a different column now. Okay. the truck maintenance so we had the 1400 budgeted in there last year to try to offset the numbers we were able to 868 is what we actually had spent the year before so it looked to us that we were like 600 dollars over on that okay. but like the truck maintenance you know that's staying at the 5000 that's what that category is going to fall under some of the stuff we were thinking we were putting in there we're actually leaving it out of that can you switch your capital expenses over to, to something different well that was a long discussion i can't remember how it went but i think that was where ron was saying it was hard to show the capital expense if you don't have it broken down right yeah meaning we're hopefully going to try not to use that column where we had the thousand dollars because what is an actual capital expense we don't have a description of it. Yeah. We could put a thousand dollars in there and toss a few other things in there and call it capital, but it isn't an actual technical. Yeah. I mean, the biggest thing that you should see is that's just the salaries. We bumped that up 2000 expecting that $15 minimum wage that may happen. So we figured we'd try to cover us for that for the upcoming years. Cause we're still at the 14 for the chiefs. And the firemen are still at the 12 so we had to bump through that to try to just to try to in case they pop it on us at minimum wage is 15 we're going to be way behind Chemicals that says you want $200 on that, not that it's a big that's be, yeah, no, that's what because that? the new truck has the foam built into the tank. So we're finding that we're more able to use the foam than the way that it was before. Yeah. So of course it's all governed through the truck, but we're using more of it because it's available to us easier now. Yeah. Or before we'd have Hyde Park come in with their truck and do it. And there is more on the back too. I don't know if I yeah, I Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
So this gives us something tangible to work with, which is great. Yeah. The, the last two items on the back, the hose and ladder testing and the pump testing, those are the ones that we put in for this fiscal year for the first time. So we're not actually sure where that's going to land. We actually don't know what it's going to cost, but that's what we projected. Yeah. Right. So we stayed the same there, but this will be the first year that we actually go through with that. And if we find out that it's more, we may have to change those numbers later about... Yeah, at least you got based on the fact that it's great. Oh, yeah. Anybody have any questions? It's perfect. Thank you. So this covers everything. So you don't expect to have any, uh, uh, based on your past, any uh, um, expenses that come about that uh, that you uh, well. Participate. The biggest expense we have is we still got to buy those sixteen packs. Yeah. yeah. But I think both towns are still prepared to pay the eight thousand again this year. Remember last year we did the bottles, both towns yeah. paid eight, but we did it for 14 instead of 16. Yeah. So I think you still have 8,000 each set aside toward that $32,000 bill that's gonna happen that I'm not sure how we're gonna come up with the other 32,000, but or 32 minus 16. We're still trying to figure that out internally. So we don't have anything sitting there other than where we can go back with the money market if we need to. But. So would you consider this bare bones? This is bare bones. Okay. This is as close to trying to level fund as we can for you. Yeah. We appreciate that. Like I said, give us the base now we can. Well, I mean that's what that's that's gonna operate the building. So I mean short of if truck blows up tomorrow night, you know, we can't tell. Exactly. But we do know that we have that. Well, the quote was a year and a half ago, so I don't know what it would be now, but it was, I think, 32000 to replace those packs to get them all back up to date because they're all too far out. Yeah. Definitely want to be safe. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Any questions? No. Yes, I'm on that one. Thank you. Thank you for doing it. Thank you. Well, thank you. Yeah. Now, uh, this is the first time you shared it with us. And uh, uh, does Ron have a copy or not yet? Okay. Just okay. No, I think we usually that. send it to him after you approve it, along with the town report. Everything goes through. Yeah. Right. Which I'll sit down and figure that out. So both towns this year have the same one. I think last year we had them two different pages and the front ones were different, I think. So once I put that together, then you guys will all have the same thing. I think Ron mixes and matches it and then sends it to Candy. I think. Okay. Any questions from Eden? Yeah, but Ron's got it. Oh, I'm oh. Well, Brent, other than being late, I think you did a good job. <laughs> <laughs> well, as I said, you were late, you were early, it worked out fine, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, can't, can't ask for more than this. Exactly. Let's see how we <coughs> Except, well, we got to figure out how to cost ships some more of the water. And yeah. 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 <laughs> Ooh. Um, question, Ed, you got? Yeah, no, I was asked, Eden, they don't have any questions? Actually, I can have probably raising my water rate up there. Tonight. 
Yeah, yeah compared to this, right? It's all relative. It's like, whoo, you guys are getting off easy. Jeez, bro, I'm telling you. Nothing to chime in, Ed? We're all. He's still, <laughs> he's, still, he's still thinking about his water bill. <laughs> you know, we don't put your budget together until after you get the bill, right? And I had it all together, and then all of a sudden, this thing. <laughs> um, I guess that's the thing that bothers me most about this. It was, it was so much crumb on you. So you, you had no chance to right. do any planning for it or anything. Right. Yeah, and like me, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what my consumption is in the state, and I'm, you know, I don't know how much water we use. Well, depending on put a meter in every year. There, there is a meter, but I haven't been able to get hold of John to see if he's got the records of it. There's, there's a meter on the uh, the domestic side, but not on that four inch hydrant that comes in. He's just filling up off somewhere and I'll hit it someplace. <laughs> Well, if the hydrant's not metered, then it wouldn't be built. It would just be there washing their hands. Still gotta put that. What is it? The pressure reducer or something? They're gonna put in there this this summer. <laughs> so I don't know if they're gonna stick a meter on there or not. And when you're talking, what is it? Uh, what, what was the rate? 750 over a thousand or something? 749, like that? yeah. Yeah, well, for every thousand. Yeah, well, you fill one truck, my biggest truck, 2,000 gallons. So, I mean, even if you top the truck off, you're, you're looking at a 500 to a thousand. You can go to Marshall and get it. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> I don't know. <clears throat> you know the You have to be tight by that, you know, after you're going to throw the top of the rest of it. Like the other pond where they go get that. You know, I imagine the rest of those pipes going to have to be done oh, in the next couple of years. Yeah. Just think how much more that's going to raise it. The, the newer pipes they're putting in will put a screen on the older stuff because it'll flow better. And so then you're going to be forced into doing something with your other rest of your system. Right, because they're going to, that's all going to start collapsing the way it, this was previously this force. Well, they also are talking about increasing the reservoir size too. Well, well you're, you're driving from Tolan to fire? So fire, we've been having a bitch of a time with that one on Ferry Street. Both of them. I don't know how many steel heads they have out there, but that thing just rust up. I've had to clean it three times. Down in the water, it rusts over the screen and you can't get no water out of them. You gotta go down and it with a hammer. But they never fixed the one at Roberts, but that's, I guess they own that one. That one's still broke. Yeah, Robert owns that one. Yeah, and they won't fix it. How about yours, Ed? You try to call it the fire? Oh, well, the one up on the craft area. And Troy Deer was up last week and we went up and looked at it. And Rob's in the process of doing some paperwork for Grant to get it fixed this summer. But everything else is working okay as far as we know. Okay. Well, I guess that's what we've got this too, but I guess for work, painless. Oh, you guys aren't going to vote on it? I thought usually you guys voted tonight on it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, at our regular meeting, but it's your. Yeah, your phone. We do usually vote on it. Yeah. Whether we're going to accept the proposal or not. Okay, we can do that. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's right. While we are here. Uh, I'll make the motion to accept the proposal from North Bay Park for the year budget. In the second? Second. Okay. Um, any more discussion about it? We're in good shape. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Uh, say aye. Anybody opposed? Okay, let's see how he's got the people. We got it. Yep. So now both towns can warn it. Yes. And accept right. it. Right. <clears throat> right. 
Ed, when you're when are you on the schedule? Next Monday. Okay. And then I guess just while I'm here, I guess I just was curious because after we handed the petition, it seemed like there was a little negativity toward it. I don't know if it was or if it just seemed that way, but that was supposed to be a positive thing for the select board. The one that we did around that way, yeah. Yeah. it would hopefully relieve the pressures of trying to cut the budget out when the taxpayers were actually trying to say, you know, we're fine with that. It just seemed like it, like when we walked out and I saw the rest of the tape, I, I couldn't, I couldn't see how that was going. It seemed almost like it was like a, well, oh. It probably, if there's anything, was more of a surprise than right. a negativity. I just wanted to throw that out there so everybody knew where that was coming from. But the yeah. article that Susan had in the paper, I think, answered all the questions. Well, that's what I thought when they called. Well, this is all, oh, as we all know, we can be prone to what you hear on the street. Okay, well, be careful what you hear on the street. <laughs> Sometimes I think a lot more credibility gets put to street stuff than, you know, and it's like, oh, whoa, wait, wait. You know, again, we're just trying to, but, you know, for everybody, just trying to think, are there better, it, it's like for us, if we can figure out, we try at the end of every budget year, you know, when, as you say, you know, when you shake out the cushions and you reach in all the pockets and you got a little money left over, um, if we can, to use a little bit of it to lower taxes, but mostly what we do is we take it, we put it into these funds because here's your, you know, the the taxpayers have approved that money. Yeah. So if you got, you know, if you can put an extra five thousand here, or an extra five thousand there, yeah. over the years that mounts up. So when it's time to buy a new fire truck or a grader or an extra whatever it is you need, you've got some, you know, you got some cash in the bank to be able to do it. And and it's nice not to have to go to taxpayers to pick up the. You know, all the freight on new pieces of equipment. As the pieces of equipment get more and more expensive and last shorter and shorter time periods because of the quality, which is yeah. nobody's fault, but it's just the, the way of the world right now. So, um, in order yeah. to cut budget for level fund budgets, you have to cut services. Yeah, yeah. That's the only way you can do it. I mean, the cost of everything keeps going up, insurances and cost of the equipment. Fuel's the only thing that's actually gone down in the last yeah. eight years. Salt. We do not use it up there. We don't use a lot, no. Salt went down $25 a ton. Yeah, this year. Are you just still getting yours through cargo or, <coughs> or are you going uh, to. <coughs> still going through cargo. Yeah, this is fun. There's yeah. a new company, American Salt, Pickers, Rock Salt. Mm -hmm. I don't know who it is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I think he's in the they flyer the other day there. He's going to follow the state contract. Through cargo. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, it's also with the cost going up, you know, the cost of paving goes up. So for the, the same amount of budget that you have for paving, you're doing less road because, yeah. of, because of the cost going up. And you, you just, you know, it, it's uh, it's hard. The petroleum went up, the cost of the paving went way up, but when the fuel went down, they never brought the stock price of the fuel down. Yeah. Did they ever do? They yeah, did. they never do. They they never do. do. Yeah, right. <clears throat> the problem is going to go And that's what's supposed to cut raise the cost is when the fuel was up. Yeah. But they never yeah. dropped it. Yeah, they don't have de escalators in those clauses. So I guess that's it. Unless anybody has anything else, we're. We thank you for driving down. Well, thank, you. thank you. Yeah, and just remember, don't print these ones out. I'll get with Ron. I'll because yep. that front yeah. one, Marvin's yeah. in the process of changing that. Quite a while before we start printing. I hope. Right. Well, let me, let me Brad, if you I got, have the thing of paper that you want in the counter for send it to me. Again. Yeah, and I think Ron will put them together because we're merging those line items so it doesn't have all those X's and ups and downs on the right. side. So when I was going to say, each selector, while you're here, but, have you guys thought about town meeting? Mark, yeah. And what are you going to do oh, yeah. if we're still in this situation? We haven't really. No. <laughs> if somebody asks a question, and I'm like, oh man, I mean, and it sort of seems like you know, Mark is so far away. But no, it's not that far away. Be here for you. Yeah. Start working on your budget here right off. Yeah. So, so if we can't get people together, Zoom. 
<laughs> I already can be able to vote. Well, I think that's I think that that's when you start thinking about it. Is yeah. everything going to have to be a printed ballot? And and if it is, then you got it. We need to start thinking about that now. And I went, oh man, that's good. I town meeting was having trouble before. It could really, I mean, if you literally can't go, how do you? And and that's where maybe potentially public access might be helpful somehow or other. I don't I don't know how. But I just realized in the conversation I had the other day, we needed to start thinking about that's right. That's if, if, yeah. if we're still, and it's even here in Vermont, our numbers are going up, and nationally, it's, I don't know, I you know, but we sort of need to start thinking about as towns as alternative plans for, or do you do you get a bigger space oh, yeah. and X number of people can come, yeah, and then at that point, you can't, you know? Um, then you can, then then you have to zoom in. I just I don't. Well, that will be fun answering questions through Zoom. Oh, yeah, 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 exactly. I know. It's <laughs> like I don't. Um, but there's uh, something else to start thinking about. If I'm going to worry about it, other people might as well worry about it too. <laughs> that, thanks for coming Here. down. Yeah. Well, thank you. Have a good night. See <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Okay. We just had some, had some tech that were sitting there. Now you're getting to your town or you yet. Pass this down that this way. I'll put a video over there. Not as bad as it looks. Yeah, I don't, you know, town meeting. What, 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 man. We had a vaccine by then, and everybody back in the world. Look what he's at. <laughs> Which one? I said, I'd like to see that, that we had a vaccine by then, and everybody back in the world. My point well, was, we're going radio this morning, and Pfizer is coming out with a. What? Yeah, yeah. It, it, they were looking 1,500 points. Between Pfizer and now they know what's happening with the election. They're like, yeah, this is working. It's a British company. Too. Everybody said it was going to go down. Isn't it funny <laughs> that two days after the election, they found the vaccine? No, they've been in, they've been in this problem. It's been in no, this problem has been in right along. They've been, they've been expecting to get their results. Pfizer, yeah. there, there's another company that's coming right on their heels. Yeah, I'm trying to think of the name of it. Yeah, right. they, they actually were ahead of them. Uh, the British company. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, and, my thing, it? and this is the thing with the Pfizer is that it's two days. So they were, did you anybody see 60 minutes last night? Mm -hmm. There's yeah, I saw some of it. Okay. Well, the uh, the military fellow who's in charge. Yeah, he's, he's ready. I'm going to call him. I told Bill, just sitting there, this is, you know, sometimes you just listen to this and you say, I just, I completely trust this guy. This guy, and he's a, he's a colonel, and his, uh, he was all in, you know, in getting materials out. That's what his professional career was in the military. And he's come up and he's saying, here's how the numbers, and here's what they're getting out of me. You know, they put in great tracking systems. And again, it can sound like it's it sounds like it's a lot of doses, but this first the Pfizer, you've got to have two. You gotta have you have one and then twenty one days later you gotta have the second one. So yeah. it's you know, so oh look, we got you know, we got a half a million doses. So well, I think we can send a thing to Trump saying sleep your drill by the whole cup. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, that's a, <laughs> yes, sleepy works. I'll tell you. Uh, I don't know. All right, right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Need a need a motion. To Make motion. Accept town orders. Accept the town orders. Yes. Second. Okay. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? Okay. I think I think we're good. We got anything else? Yeah. We're here Monday. Monday right? the no. Next. Yeah, we're Monday. 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 Monday is the. Building. It's seven. That's the seven o'clock one.
No, I won't be the last speaker. But that's on, that's on phone anyway. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we'll get everybody to the Zoom as long as there are a couple of us. And as I say, I'm curious to see what Johnson and Stoll and these guys got. I'm sure Stoll's going to have plenty because they're going to be the biggest share. Yeah, I think theirs is about 20000 <laughs> You should, I, if on, top what they, it. on top of what they pay. You know, I, I wouldn't think it's right, but I would understand it more. If, you know, they, they talked about uh, uh, being in, out in the open and stuff. Yeah, transparent. Transparent. If they come to us before this, or come to those people and say, before this, this is what happened. But they just, they just hold on yet. <clears throat> You blindsided it in that. Seventeen hundred dollars. That's yes, a surcharge. I don't know. Okay, we well, need a uh, motion to adjourn. Hey, what's that? This so, is... sorry. Okay, all in favor, signify by saying aye. Oops, aye. Wait, Susan, hold it. What? What? Yep. Susan, on the um, I guess I don't know if I missed it or what your plan is for the. Um, Discussion or no discussion on the collective bargaining agreement. Yeah, I'm glad you said that. That's right. Roger just Roger Stagnard hasn't we have to see about getting this done. You want to look at it, right? So, yeah, so we, that was, which we don't we want to sit here and make everybody stare while you seen it, really. It's the same thing, it just has that we're doing the nine hundred dollars. Yeah, that's what, that's what I wanted to make sure that was, um, I just wanted to make sure that that was understood that they'll get that in the spring, right? If, the spring if they works. work all winter. Just under, I think the way it works is uh, after they finish the month of December, January, February, March, yeah. they get one, one quarter of the 900. Now wait, they get, they get a quarter every month? Yeah, at yeah, the end of the month. month. At the end so of the month, the end, right. end oh. of December, they get one quarter. At the end of January, they get one quarter. Right. So they so we do a quarter a month through the month. <coughs> yeah. So it'd be like two twenty five per month for the four months. Correct. No, I think that's almost okay with that. We want to, if everybody's with okay, we could go ahead and then it could get sent to the union and they can okay it. And yeah. Start the next one. <laughs> well, yeah, the pro the, we're still in drafting mode, so even though we're in open session, I think we can just send the final draft, if you will, the final strike version to the union and see what they think. If they consent to it or agree to it, uh, I think there's a formal vote required by the select board on the 16th of November. Okay. And then after the 16th, they have to have a ratification vote. Right. They have to pull ballots and things. So that's kind of a multi step process. But I just want to know if I should send the. Okay, so I think. So I think. Well, I figured it right. The 16th would be a, be a two person vote, not a three, right? Yeah. Well, well no, because no, we'll still. 18, right? Yeah. He's working till the 18th. Oh. Well, but we've just, and it'll be longer anyway, because I think now we're just saying, yes, Ron, you can go ahead and send it to the union. And then if they approve it, they'll say, yeah, it's okay. Then at our meeting on the 16th, yeah, we will we formally accept it. Yeah. And then yeah. we will send it to the union. So it will be a two person vote whenever they get around to it. Yeah, yeah you're, you're only approving the draft as you understand it today, and then we'll get some feedback from the union or no changes from the union back. <clears throat> Yep. Super. So I'll, I'll do that and I'll let, I'll let everybody know that. Okay. Okay. Now we can adjourn, right? Yes, I'm all set. Okay. Phew. Okay. <laughs> Allie, I'll leave these on the just on the table for you. Okay. I guess we're adjourned. Good.